folks. How's everybody doing? My name's Dave. Welcome to Van Camp 402. And as you can see in the title, we are at Nottaway County Conservation Area. It is a uh, really nice Iowa campground, just a county park. But man, does it have a lot to offer? We needed today electricity and some shade. We need electricity because of the heat, as you can see from the title. Let's see what, uh, let's see what we're hitting here. I got it pulled up here. It's kicking us over to the Maryville, Missouri weather station, but I'm gonna try and zoom this in for you. It feels like right now is 115 degrees and it's 96 for an actual temperature. It's a little warm. So I got the fans going. It actually for right now it's best if I keep that back door shut. Just have it just try and stay shaded as much as possible. Heat is the name of the game and I'm going to be drenched by the by the time we're done here. That was part of the reason I wanted to stay here too. They have a shower and I figured man halfway through the night I might need to do that. I'm going to finish getting camp set up. I am going to get the bug screens up here and we'll check back in a little bit. But welcome to Van Camp 402 and Nottaway Conservation Area. drop this in just to cruise around the park a little bit well it's not bad right here with that fan blowing and it's all shaded it's not bad in here right now uh, I did bring the awning I just I didn't know how we were gonna set up down here we definitely don't need it our sun's gonna be over on that back side if anything I'd put it up on the back side to cool the side of the van but I don't think we're gonna need it let's get this put away one of the things we did bring is firewood. And on the hottest day of the year so far, let's have a fire tonight. All right, as you can see right here, we've got a pretty nice fire pit. We're gonna take advantage of that on the hottest day of the year so far. Well, for right now, you absolutely cannot be in the sun. <laughs> it's that warm. I gotta get that other little fan going. We're gonna have a warm night tonight. Nice. Slide this back. And our rug is locked in place. All right, we're gonna walk up here real quick and get registered. I can see up the road behind you guys, they did just redo a bunch of stuff on their playground. And I saw on Google Maps, that was one of the big complaints was people that were camping. It was kind of antiquated. Uh, looks like that's all brand new stuff, looks really nice. As soon as we get registered, I'm gonna spin you around. That's right here, we're just right across. As soon as we get registered, we're gonna walk back down over my shoulder and let's go do a quick bathroom tour while it's uh, good light right now. First, we got to get this uh, pair of dues. All right, uh, just standing there getting registered. <laughs> it's that hot out. Oh, wow. Oh, I splashed my phone. All right, as you can see, the van's right here. We got the bike out. Nice shaded spot. Should hopefully stay that way. We might get hit a little bit in there, but it won't be too bad. And very nice little spot here. And right now, we're going to walk down to the bathrooms and do a quick bathroom tour. They do have, and I'll show this as we're going by, they have a cabin that you can rent if you'd like. All right, that's the women's, and the door's kind of swinging open. Let's maybe shut that, I guess. And let's check out the men's real quick. Oh, it's been used. Not too bad. A little antiquated. Oh, shower. It's dirty, but uh, very, very usable. It's warm in here though. We got two thumbs up on this one. Yeah, nice little shower house. It's nice that it's private. You don't have to pay for a shower. You don't have to pay for a shower separate. They do have a spigot in here too, if you need to go fill a jug or something, which is always a good option. Oh, I'll film that cabin real quick before we get back to camp. Just saw a guy walk in uh, 
two of his Goldens. It's kind of cool. I heard one of their names was Cooper, which is always a solid. Uh, uh, wasn't there a Cooper in a movie maybe or something that was a Golden Retriever? Let me know if you guys do know. I'm not a big movie guy. We are back at the ranch. I got a couple more things I got to get set up. We do have dinner plans for tonight. It was supposed to be a catch and cook, but it's just going to be a cook. Um, I have some tilapia we're going to do on the uh, grill pan, and we're going to do that outside because, of course, the smell of fish. But, uh, I got to move the picnic table here real quick, get a couple more things set up, and we'll check back. Ooh, all right. We have to have a... Oh, let me just kind of leave that open. It's kind of interesting. I've tried several different combinations in here, and this is just what's working best. And I don't even need the bug screen with as much air that's coming out of here. You gotta have a designated uh, wipe off towel. <laughs> it's pretty warm, otherwise I'm disgusting. Well, we've got everything pretty much set up. I think we're in camp. I got the uh, little table out, I got the chair. We're gonna settle in for a minute, and then we are gonna get on the bike, and I wanna take you folks around the park a little bit on the mountain bike. <laughs> Folks, let's go do a quick little uh, tour here. I'm gonna try and get this squared away while we're talking. There we go. Leave that open. As you can see, we brought the uh, still camera. We're gonna jump on the bike real quick and just do a quick little lap around the park. I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things. Might be a little rough, I'm not bringing my big camera or anything. I'm gonna do a quick lap and I'll give you a quick tour. All right. What do you think of that camera angle? <laughs> you can look right up my nose. All right, we're gonna, like I said, it's gonna be a little rough. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna try and film this way a little bit. But the campground down here has kind of a loop. What I don't wanna do is go back to the entrance. What I was trying to say was, I don't really wanna go down to the entrance all the way because it's a huge hill back up. <laughs> and it's 115 feels like. We made it up to a little top of a hill where we were, and now we're gonna uh, cruise down this downhill. I'll see you at the bottom. There's a secondary bathroom. Looks like it's all closed though. It has caution tape all over it. And now we're just kind of cruising down to the shelter area, and there's supposed to be a really cool overlook here. Hopefully we get some good uh, still pictures. All right, we've been up here at the shelter. Uh, you gotta climb back on the bike with me. Hopefully we can get out of here. This is gonna be a tough little climb. Camera, she has some gear, so we got this. Oh. Would you guys be cool if we included a little bit more uh, mountain biking in our upcoming stuff? I'm thinking I might 
try and start riding my bike a little bit more. Try and uh, do a race or something in the next year. And I thought maybe if we all worked on this together, you guys could hold me accountable, keep me out training. All right, down the hill we go. Wow, it's hot today. Well, as you can see, we've ridden down here just a little bit. Uh, I just came upon, and I didn't know this little area was down here. Uh, I don't know if it's a trailhead, but to me, wouldn't this be a great uh, tent camp spot? I'm going to look at this map here real quick and see if that says anything. But, man, this is a really cool little, it's a little dead-end circle down here. I just rode down the hill. Let's go check the map real quick and see uh, see where we're at. Well, it does just look like it's a uh, trailhead for equestrian and mountain biking. I don't have my shoes, I don't have my helmet. We're not gonna uh, do a, a hard mountain bike and it's hot as blazes. Uh, what I am gonna do, I'm gonna walk down, there's a bench down here. I wanna do a couple of quick pictures with that. Uh, some still photography of uh, the way these trees are lined out. I don't know, what do you folks think? Looks kinda cool, doesn't it? All right, we'll post some pictures and I'll see you probably back at the van. Right, folks the way we have stuff set up right now i think i'm going to move this little table kind of right over to here to cook dinner tonight but what i think i'm going to do for sure is put an extension cord on that fan and i'm going to set the try and get the fan closer out here and try and blow on me while, it, while i'm cooking outside i didn't realize how much the wind was going to die down tonight I'm sorry i gotta film out here the fans i have to keep the fans running and then you guys can't hear me i wanted to show you folks in that previous clip setting up the bug thing that I use for now. I think I'm going to change that up once I'm done with that pack of those. What did I see Kenny of all trades do? He uses like a lantern with oil or something in it, uh, citronella. I think that he cooks in a Coleman lantern. I've got to research it just a little bit more, but I think that would work better for how I camp and what I do. Those packs of, what is that? Uh, Thermosel. Yeah, why couldn't I think of that? Those packs of Thermocell are expensive, crazy expensive. And sometimes they just don't really do the best. They do okay. I've got it right there right now and flies are literally, they're just going right past it coming in. So anyway, I'm gonna change up as soon as that box of Thermocell replacements I have is done. I'm gonna switch that up and switch over to a Coleman Lantern and try and do it with oil and do it that way lot lot cheaper i'd rather have more of those out for the cost than and then cover more area than just one thermocell doing a really good job in a tiny area that's uh, a way we're going to be going right now let's get uh, some uh, tilapia cooking <clears throat> i was able to get that fan moved which is awesome. I'm gonna be able to cook out here in somewhat of comfort. Oh, oh. man, having a fan blowing you out here, it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna move this chair a little bit. Nice. So like I was saying, hopefully that fan noise isn't too bad. But tonight we're gonna to do some tilapia. Shout out to my wife, subscriber shout out. She got an award today at her work for being the employee of the quarter or something like that, which is awesome. She could probably win it a lot, I hope. <laughs> she does, does good work there. Couldn't be more proud of you, that's awesome. But, so in honor of her, we're doing, she made some pasta salad yesterday. We had some extra pasta salad and some fish outside here in camp tonight. I was just looking with that extension cord on there 
I think I can get the electric to reach to this. The only thing I'm honestly that I'm worried about is that I don't want to pop the breaker. Let's see what happens. All right, it reaches. That's cool. Oh, it reaches easy. Bring that out more, actually. I don't want fish smell in my van. Uh, let's turn the high burner on. All right, everything kind of took a dip, but then it responded. Thank you, public power people, whoever you are. It's an inside joke. Okay. Our burner is heating up. Holy moly. Let's go up here. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's got to. <laughs> it's got to be blowing right on me. But I do vow we are doing a fire tonight. I am starting a fire. Always makes for uh, really good pictures. That's one of the best things I like about it. All right, let's get a little seasoning, and as soon as this pan uh, heats up, we'll get our tilapia on the grill. Oop. Boy, we gotta have that fan. I have to move it to get in and out. Very nice. I think our oil's heating up. So I've got black pepper, some garlic powder, and then some onion powder. We're gonna do with the uh, tilapia, and we might have to do this in shifts. I think my pan is quite big enough. I was gonna have to cut that. Yeah, what do you guys think with uh, on this grill pan like this? Nice. That was a good sound. Guess I'm this stuff will cook quick. They're obviously Dave proof. Hardest packaging ever to get into. I'm gonna have every raccoon in like a six state area. <laughs> working their way to this campground. So trash pandas. All right, our fish is on. That was entertaining. Now I gotta wash my hands. Really bad. All right, we're gonna run to the dumpster with the fish stuff, run to the outhouse and wash your hands, and we'll be right back. Well, I just figured out a cool camping tidbit that most folks who camp a lot of will appreciate. I just figured out, I'm like, holy cow, if I eat my the pasta salad my wife made out of the bowl I brought it in, and then I eat the fish out of the pan I cooked it in, it's only two dishes. And I'll wash those tonight then, because I don't want fish in my van. But how cool is that? Pasta salad and some fish. See you folks after dinner. Mm. It was good. It's cold. Cold tomato, cold broccoli, and it's so hot out. That tastes great. I ended up throwing the fish in with the uh, pasta salad. It's really good. That's what we're doing for dinner tonight. All right, folks, evening is winding down a little bit. It took me a minute. All of a sudden I was like, yeah, I'm just like super tired. It's the heat. I was like, all of a sudden I was like, it's seven o'clock at night. I'm just like, I gotta lay down for a second. I didn't need to sleep, but my body, and it's the heat, it feels like it's 111. So your body's doing different things. Um, I'm just gonna hang out a few more minutes and then we are gonna start a fire tonight. Kind of excited about it. Hopefully the uh, smoke works in our favor. That's what's next on our agenda is a fire and it looks like we're getting a little bit more shade. I'm gonna fire the big fan back up, try and stay cool just for a few more minutes. That thing has to be running. I just cut that little clip, it immediately went up. It felt like 12 degrees in here. You gotta have that air moving. I'm good. I was better than I was with having an air conditioning in here by far. Just fans blowing constantly, it just works really well. We're gonna hang out.
I got the uh, fire started. You can see that over my shoulder here. I had to get out of there with the fan noise. <laughs> Make sure the screens are down. So we got the fire going. Perfect. I think where it's uh, set very well where it's at right now. But what I want to do right now, I'm going to jump on the bike. I'm going to take you folks along with the phone to shoot some video. I do have my big camera over here. We're going to shoot some, hopefully some cool stills of sunset over the Nottaway River Valley. How exciting is that? <laughs> We don't have like the Tetons or the Rockies just punching you in the face. You gotta like scrape for the beauty. Folks, good morning. I don't know if you can tell or not, we have a pretty good little thunderstorm <laughs> rolling through this morning. I thankfully woke up, just grabbed a couple of things when it uh, first started. Man, there's some lightning crashing around us, and that's what woke me up this morning. Didn't sleep too bad. It's 82 in here right now. It's it's hot. I had to pull all the blankets off the bed, literally in my underwear. No. Uh, no shorts, no shirt. I had the fan blowing directly on me to, just for the minute that I have to turn the fan off to talk to you guys. It uh, instantly just, you start, and now with the rain too, it's just so humid and hot. I'm going to get a couple more things picked up here. Let's make this a great day, huh? Load and go, right? Remember seeing this in the forecast. I think it's a ton of water in it. This thing's just soaked. Alright, have to call it. Call it! We're getting there, folks. Man, this is one the uh, air conditioning just feels absolutely great to have that turned on for a second. It is just pouring out right now and I have to, I need to get unplugged. I need to get the levelers pulled out when I pull forward a touch, but it's just raining so dang hard right now. We are going to do a quick stop at the bathroom on our way out and uh, get our good tooth brushed. I'll see you folks down there. We gotta, uh, I gotta hop out in the rain here and grab this stuff. I don't wanna go. All right, we got it. The van is always a uh, disaster on mornings like this because they just literally just throw everything <laughs> in here. There's no point if, uh, if I'm just going straight home uh, to get all that stuff adjusted. I can do that at home where it's dry. Hopefully it's dry when I get home. Let's cruise up here real quick. We are packed up, loaded up. The puddles, the rain, the lightning. 
tad bit stormy today. I want to do uh, get down these trails. I'm going to turn you around here real quick and show you this. But we'll have to come back and do some hiking here because that looks like a great trail. But not this morning. We're raining a little bit. Well, I'm not going to lie. The uh, air conditioning feels really good in here this morning. Man, I just needed a small little break from it. Always double check. So like after I pulled out of my campsite, I always look back over anything on the ground. I leave something over by the fire pit, my shovel, something like that. Always just do a quick 360 before you exit your campsite. Folks, thanks for coming along. This is a great camp. Not away, uh, gets two thumbs up easily. Definitely will be back here again. Another one of those I'd like to do in the winter time having power like this this is a good campground we do have another area down here that i really want to camp at but yesterday it was just too hot and it doesn't have power so that was our big thing we needed shade and power folks everybody take care have a great week thanks for coming along on these adventures with me if you have an idea of a place you'd like me to hit please drop it in the comments. If there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, I had someone ask about a little bit more photography type stuff. So I've been trying to sprinkle that in a little bit better too. So maybe we'll start getting on our bike a little bit more. All right, everybody take care. I'm hitting the road.